Jason with Crane Creek Kennels. Hey, uh, we're headed to Iowa this morning. It's Sunday, July 19th. Um, I'm going to pick up a blue tick hound that I used to own uh, when we lived up by St. Louis. Um, I think I had him for two kill seasons. Um, never competition hunted this dog other than um, him and his uh, sister, I believe it was. Uh, me and the boy that owned the sister put him in a uh, meat hunt. Um, treat 16 coons in two hours, that include driving time and all. Um, he's a big, big houndy dog. I ended up selling him to some people uh, in Iowa uh, when I moved from St. Louis to Springfield because at the time I didn't know if I was going to have a place to have hounds. Um, they took him and made him a show champion and a water champion, and uh, he can he can really swim. I, I've seen him swim the Missouri River, uh, and it's pretty swift. So um, he's he's a big dog. Um, I'm, he's a little bit older now. Uh, I did have him around a puppy, and y'all have seen Ranger, the black and tan puppy that I picked up from Michael Barnes. Um, I'm hoping I can use him to kind of get him started uh to get ranger started uh twisted is his name he don't uh he don't have a big mouth a little backstory on him is i got him from tyler um whenever we first got to st louis and the deal behind it was tyler had a litter of puppies this is one of the puppies and uh, i think you give them give him to somebody anyway had him had him started or something give him somebody and whoever we give him to had him on a chain. It was middle of summer. It's hot. He's out there barking with no water. Tyler found out about it. We just went and got the dog back from the guy because um, he wasn't taking care of him. And uh, so his mouth was uh, is definitely uh, below uh, par for sure because of that. Uh, when I got him, we uh, talked to some old timers and said give him some honey. So we gave him some honey, and, and we did get some of his mouth back. Um, but you, you can't hear him really over other dogs in the woods. That's one reason I never competition hunted him. But probably gonna take him to some water races. He's he's a very strong swimmer, fast swimmer. Uh, Bailey uh, How, Howard, I think how you said their last name, uh, is who I sold him to. She took him in blue tick days, and uh, she said he pretty much blew the other dogs out of the water at the water race. Um, so. Um, my daughter, uh, she's interested in showing, so we're probably gonna even take him and maybe let her do some showing with him to kind of get uh, get used to it. And I may put him in some competition hunts, not for his sake, um, but just for my sake, try to get some of the, the rust off of me. But um, anyway, we're uh, ready to Bloomfield, Iowa this morning. Um, probably be there about 10, 10.30. We're gonna grab him and uh, around go back to the house um, but uh, I'll shoot some video of him uh, later on um, but I do know he's a Smoky River bred dog and uh, like I said he he, he would treat coons uh, pretty consistently for me I mean I, I, of course I've been in the woods with better dogs I've been in the woods with a lot worse dogs too but for what I'm wanting him for to kind of help my puppy get going I, I think he's a good choice and probably will help me in the long run too and then like I said he's uh he's already been showed he's already been you know a show champion I don't remember where he placed at the winter classic but he was showed at the winter classic and he was pretty close to the top there um so uh we'll uh we'll, we'll see how it goes uh but anyway I just gonna give you a little update of what we're doing I, I've said from the start it didn't matter to me if it was you know, blue tick walker, black and tan, plot, red bone, long as the trees are coon. And uh, the opportunity come up to, to get this dog back. So I think it'd be uh, good for us in the kennel. So we're gonna go get him. Um, so we have blue tick and a black and tan. Um, if y'all watched the videos, um, you know that we uh, have the kennel phase one done. Phase one was getting two kennels built for this reason. I knew I was going to have the puppy, and now we're going to get twisted. So those two dogs have a place to, to stay, 
and then phase two is going to be completing those two outside kennels and then getting the inside stuff put up and everything put together uh, we're not in as big a hurry uh, uh, for that but that's going to be phase two and then there's going to be a phase three phase three is going to be finishing out what we want as far as dog kennels um, you've seen the side where my water tank is um, that needs to be raised up rat cells need to be changed um, that's going to kind of be phase three so finishing out dog kennels and fixing the rest of the rat cells in the, in the kennel barn but um yeah, so far so good. Um, we uh, we're excited to get back into it. I'm still waiting on a, a battery for my old lot. I talked to them last week. They don't mass produce them anymore, so they're uh, taking a little longer to get it. But they say it's coming. So probably going to end up picking up another lot. And um, still haven't made a decision on tracking system yet. I like the Alpha, but. I really do like the things that I'm hearing about the Daltra. So um, we'll, we'll see. I haven't made a decision yet on that. I've got a pretty good offer from Garmin to, to get a uh, Alpha, but at the same time, I can just about buy a Daltra and two track and train collars for the same money. So um, no decision made there yet, but uh, we probably are going to fix my old lot and then we're probably gonna end up getting probably one or maybe even two more lights um, just so we can have an extra. Cause I'm sure James will be hunting with me some. My daughter probably might be hunting with me some, my youngest daughter. Um, and my oldest son may may uh, even track along some. He's, he seems to kind of be interested. So we'll see, we'll see what happens there. Um, anyway, I just want to give you a quick update. I'll add some video and uh, and some uh, pictures on the end of this, and uh, I'll take a better look at his pedigree and I'll let y'all know, but I know he goes back to Smoky River, but that's all I can remember. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have an Instagram page and a Facebook page now. So if you don't mind, go follow us over there or like us or whatever you do. And uh, remember, keep them treat. Bloomfield, Iowa this morning, picked up a dog I used to own his old blue pick. And so I was just gonna show you real quick. We're, we're pretty much complete at this moment until we decide what else we're gonna do. Uh, we still got the two pins outside to do. I still gotta get two more inside panels, but I'm gonna show you the dog real quick, tell you a little bit about him. Okay, as you know, this is loud one here. Is one we call a ranger, Crane Creek Ranger. Uh, he's out of the Blues Band uh, Beulah uh, and Blues Band Possum Dog out of Arkansas. Um, he is actually my prospect. But here we have Twisted. Uh, I bought this or owned this dog back in, it's probably been four years ago when I lived close to St. Louis. And man, he is, a, even though as big as he is, he's a heck of a swimmer and he will treat coons. Uh, him and his mama uh, treed 16 coons in two hours one night. Anyway, he's a Smoky River bred blue tick and he's seven years old now. So he's a water champion and a bench show champion. And we're gonna be using him to train him. So anyway, that's him.